Pledge allegiance, my middle finger up like fuck police. Hey, we are back on Live from the Underground once again. It's your boy Jay Will, and I'm here with Mr. Rico Slice Whoop. and Mr. Rollo. Yeah. And we are back on Live from the Underground. Week five, people, is going down. And um, sorry to say, uh, we are not going to have Mr. B Hemp in here today, but uh, he will be on very, very, very soon. He just he had a little thing come up today. It's, it's understandable. That's how it goes some of these times. But he will be on the show very soon. So today, he's just going to be stuck with us. So. Be, just deal with it. You're going to be stuck with us today. But uh, today's topic, we're going to be talking about record sales. Uh, it was just it was just reported. Rico called me on the way here. It was just reported. What would you say, Cray Sean? <laughs> had the lowest record sales in history for in, a hip-hop artist or just no, 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 in no, no, general? No, no. In the history of a major label artist, Cray Sean had the lowest first week sales. That is... 3,900 copies. Are you serious? 3,900. Like, I graduated with, like, 3,900 copies. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, my, I didn't graduate. but the, her buzz has to be completely gone by now. Like, whenever Gucci, Gucci, or whatever her single was, that came out, what, like, early last year? Right, but that, that leads into the whole discussion because yeah. are those, is that a relevant figure? Well, right, so we're going to get right into that after the music. But so we're gonna hit y'all off with some scheme as you can hear right now, and then we're gonna keep it going from there. We got school, we got uh schoolboy Q on the song, we got Abso coming on later on the show with the, with mixed emotions, and we're just gonna keep it rolling, y'all. This is J Will, Whoop. Rico Slice, yeah. Rollo on Live from the Underground. I got nine to drop around nine o'clock. Uh, nigga, yeah, like the ox. Yeah. So you're gonna shake, keep the four you hot. I'm looking for the fiends with the grimy socks, with the dirty nails and the curly tops. Uh, yeah, I'm getting rich tonight. So your pussy bitch, you're getting pimped tonight. Yeah, make a right on fig, get your dick sucked, honey bucks right on trick. Get guns, split wigs, yeah, kids. This world ain't give you shit. But pussy till you dig. The second short stack, cause you might get sick. Cotton candy, sweet as gold. Let me see your pussy hoe. Throw it back, cut it slow. Show me why they call you home. Bitch, I'm up, I know you know. Tell me what you're playing for. Bitch, I ain't feeling what you was feeling. Bitch, cause you with it. Bitch, I ain't with it. Just kill it. Just chill, this is how it is when the shit get real Pistol grip and an Eggman whip with a destined bitch on some hip and shit Bars of rust, now tell them fuck niggas don't bother us I rap with the strap, no robbing us And we ball like ain't nobody guarding us Star back, nigga, chop it to your hairline, part that, nigga You a bitch boy, where your heart at, nigga, small fish in the water where the sharks at You a bitch boy, where your heart at, nigga, small fish in the water where the sharks at You a bitch boy, where your heart at Rashi, I touch that, I ride Hemi, why you walking with your bus back? Nigga, fuck that Fuck this, no fuck shit, cause I'm a YG I be getting money, swear the dollar sign is my ID Say my nigga, I know you niggas heard I don't play my nigga Next up, I the CA, my nigga, I can shit on these rappers all day, my nigga Yeah, yeah, my nigga, money team flow, Ray J, my nigga That's a joke, nigga, laugh, dirty money, shorty putting hundreds in the bag This about mine and we running in your lab, half 10 front line, niggas gunning for your ass Got a group, nigga with me, that's a whole front of 50s, nigga, wood dough, F's in the rules from the big Make a diss about mine and we running in your lab, half 10 front line, niggas gunning for your ass Got a group, nigga with me, that's a whole front of 50s, nigga, wood dough, F's in the rules from the bitty Whoop Bitch. Uh, yeah, I ain't cool it. Tell him that I'm coolin'. I'm back in your bracket. Call me you and see when I do this. You foolish if you think you could ever break us when we cool it. The last man that tried us left the house looking stupid. I got the heart of a nuisance, patience of a god. And I could give two shits if your click is really hard. If you cool and you down, you can roll with the squad. But if you fool and you a clown, we don't roll with them. Nah. Check the weather and put your ass to leather. I'm trying to see if no tops could make my coasting better. Uh, divine pleasure, rolling with the crew. That's a happiness beyond measure. There's nothing to do, so we just ride around the city like 285. Never seen something so pretty as my lovely city sky. Never 
never seen something so lovely as my pretty city Hi, I'm just happy to call this lovely pretty city mine. Rolling up the dank, man, that's how the South do it She said the way I hit the stage, got her mouth drooling Top game, bitch, I'm spitting out fluent Keep your fingers off the grain while I ride out to it Five speed man, you a hoopty, that's the whip. Head of the East Atlanta, man, I gotta make a trip. Driving down Memorial Drive, passing 285. I'm bumping two chains in future as I ride. Cruising through the city in the middle of the night. It never gets old if it ever feels right. Maybe I'm the type that likes a fast paced life. I'm tired of the suburbs, I miss the city life. Niggas on the hustle, on every other street. Crackheads on every other corner that you meet. Shorties on the strip and they kicking it and niggas trying to holler. Straight tricking kid. Sitting on 22s, man, that's just how we cruise. Rims cost more than your car, but that's just how we do. Nothing more to say. Just come and spend the day in any area that you want, east side of the A. Rolling up the dank, man, that's how the South do it. She said the way I hit the stage, got her mouth drooling. Top game, bitch, I'm spitting out fluent. Keep your fingers off the grain while I ride out to it. Yo, your destination is final, put in your resignation Let me get air for a moment, I'll be your occupation Always on some ill shit with my tribe Come and feel the vibes, my verses they come prescribed I got it tatted on my arm, it's forever east side That I double L represents, I'm gon' ride Grandma a bit silly, so they made us outcasts 1995, hip hop was broadcast Source of that the war came from Drake Said the South got something to say Bitch, you gon' respect the A True, I got more flow than the average man But that don't mean you should blame me Had to move my feet, get about my seat Just so my town could know me 285 East Mountains, bounce down to the Glen Wood Shout out that's all me from the North But the South is where my heart be So watch it just continue Never with her, I run with a group of sinners Cruise around Atlanta, a bunch of verbal abuse Rolling up the dank, man That's how the South do it She said the way I hit the stage Got her mouth drooling Top game, bitch I'm spitting out fluent Keep your fingers off the grain while I ride out to it. Yo, I forgot that this is at the end of the song. <laughs> so, shout yeah. out to Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall and all the dudes in that movie. <laughs> that was a trailer. Yo, movie. shout out to Ilmon, straight up. Uh, the homie Mike Felder once again put me on some new music with Ilmont the other day. So if you Mike have, is just ahead of his time, he man. is like I'm gonna tell you right now. Like every every most of the, most of the music I'm into right now is because of Mike. So shout out to Mike, my right hand man. Shout out, shout out. And uh, so shout out to Ilmont as well, ATL stand up. But uh, today's topic is record sales. Do they still matter? Does it even? I mean, is are they even still relevant in this day and time? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, y'all kick it off, and then we can just go around the table. How do you feel about that, Rico? Um, I don't think they're relevant anymore. Um, you got you got um, collectives like Odd Future that are selling. You know, forty thousand records first week. I mean, that's minuscule compared to to previous years. If you if you and we would have taken a time machine back to nineteen ninety eight and said that um, that Tyler the Creator, who was one of the hottest artists in the music business, were were to sell forty thousand records the first week, the motherfuckers would be like, "Whoa, what are you talking yeah, about? For real, like, <laughs> he is not hot." Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't think it's relevant anymore. I think because of um, from touring to merch, which is a good point. To you know, for like my, my boy Mike Posner today, he, he um I just saw that he got the Kia ad. I, I bet you, I'm telling you right now, I bet you he got yeah. as much money off of that Kia ad as he got cut off the record sales from his from his album. And that's a good point. You know, that's a really good point. And I see what you're talking about because uh, I speaking of our future myself, I went to an our future show before, and then when I tell you, that was the biggest, most pandemonium I've ever seen at one point in my life. 
It was. And the thing about that is they deal with that every night. Right. Every show is like that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, in a sense, yeah, record sales don't matter. Um, but to an extent, they kind of do. I, I think they matter in the sense of... You think it matters about the artist? Like mm-hmm. like for, for the Nicki Minaj's and Drake's and Jay-Z's, do you think it matters? But then... Yeah, because that leads to their credibility. Like for the, the one percenters? Yeah, that leads to their credibility. Because <laughs> yeah, nah. Drake Drake won't be able to talk the talk that he talks without the record sales backing him up. Right. Like, Drake would not be able to say anything he's saying right now if he didn't have record sales backing him up. I promise you. I promise you that. Well, I mean, let's think about it. How many people knew who Krishan was when she saw a record low 39? She was big. I mean... she. I, I wish I, w- I would have looked... Because that was the, the premise of this entire topic today was Krayshawn's all-time low-setting yeah, record sales. I mean, but here's the thing. That, that's, really the, that's really the record label's fault. Her buzz was huge after that Gucci Gucci huge, record. Huge though, was it, it was huge. Hu- That's what I'm saying. Was it huge? It was huge enough to get noticed by MTV. Nah, as I mean, a pop, no. as a pop slash rap, was rap huge uh, type of feel. She 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 hindered herself early in the game. Yeah, mm-hmm. with all that all the smack talking. <laughs> she all tried the, to beef yeah, with the Rick yeah, Ross, yeah, all the N word throwings, and yeah, yeah. she ended so, herself early. Nah, that wasn't her. That was her homegirl. That wasn't her. But it was still that was her. She's still throwing N word around. It's I've just, never once heard her say that. Really, honestly, I could have swore she was she was talking that mess too. That was V nasty. Yeah, she need to shut up. It was like I'm. But, it was yeah. V Yo, straight up, I ain't even gonna front. I don't know these women personally, but V Nasty needs to sit down somewhere. Yeah, nobody cares about if it. Your name, if your name is V Nasty, I don't want to smell you. <laughs> she did an album. <laughs> she did an album with Gucci Mane, bro. Did you listen to it? Hell yeah, it's Gucci Mane. Shit, you gotta listen to it. What you you think? Give it's it a Gucci Mane, bro. Nah, but, no, but this is how I feel about album sales. This is how I feel. About, I think is what you trying. Who, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to play? What field are you trying to be in? Because if you underground. Album sales ain't that much. Our, our, yeah. future, our future sold 40,000 records independent. On an independent know. label. So that means something. That's now, not, if now if we're talking mainstream or independent, that's a different story. Independent, 40,000 records is saying that's, something. That's good. Especially, that is saying especially something. Especially when you can download from multiple yeah, different so, sites. So Memphis on, Bleak went platinum. Let's remember, Memphis Bleak went platinum. Do you not like Memphis Bleak? Listen, <laughs> would you... <laughs> The best song on his album was Dear Summer by Jay Z. True. <laughs> True. <up>. True. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's, I mean, and I went to that 2 Chain show this week, by the way. That shit was fucking turned How was it? I bet you it was. Up. How that was? was the livest rap show I've been to in a very, very long time. Word? Peep. Yes. Peep. So I was talking to one of my friends. Sorry about that. Shout out to PHT. Yeah, you know I mean, we was rapping this weekend and we was talking about the crazy thing. Funny thing is, you will pack out a venue. It's crazy how now your album may not get bought, but your venue will still get packed out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That's, wild. A, that's why I say that record sales are, irre- are irrelevant to an e- I, I say to an extent, extent they still matter because they, they help back some people's point of cross. Jay-Z can't talk mess if his records ain't selling because right, and then that means he fell off. Right. True. So, I mean, Jay-Z has to sell records for him to stay where he's at. So would you say for the majority of artists... It doesn't matter. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Would you say for the majority of artists in the hip-hop genre, record sales are irrelevant? For the majority of artists? Yes. Okay. I would say that. But for but they're, but they're, in some aspect, they still matter. Sim- I mean, because like I said, I can name a few artists. It's just like if, if they aren't selling records, they can't really talk the mess they're talking because they are built up. I mean, but then the the record sales go back to the correlation of of, of audience that you're gonna pack out. You go platinum, you're gonna be in the arena. Right. You're gonna be on stadium tours. Right. You Who's going platinum? I mean Drake went platinum. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's actually like multi platinum. It went right platinum now. pretty quick. <laughs> it went platinum pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah it did. Yeah. It did. Take care. Yeah. It went platinum pretty. Yeah. Damn I didn't quick. know that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't even know Nikki. Nikki. I didn't know Nikki went platinum. Project. Has Nikki gone platinum? Uh, last I time know, I checked, I don't know. I don't know. Last time I checked, she was at six hundred thousand copies. What's about Pink Friday? Uh, Roman, Roman Reloaded. She did, and I looked it up before. The, that's why I said I wish I would have done a little bit more re- research. But she did two hundred fifty thousand first week. Yeah, it's very impressive. Yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand first week, especially. That's like, not much to snuff at. I mean, let's. I mean, be nowadays real. it's good though. I mean, you got the internet, man. You get downloaded, man. Right, you right. I mean, not Nas goes gold, and album gets leaked the week before, and he still <laughs> has managed to go gold. Shout out to who is that? Shout out to Mike, man. He's hilarious in these chat rooms. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, man. I feel like it just depends on what you're trying to play. If currency album sales don't matter to him. Yeah, I mean, I would. Yeah, I would. Sure. T- 
he's a millionaire. He don't need to. Like, yeah, I mean, he, he, he tours and sells. Yeah, he's he making. He I, I would. I would say. Records and he's good. I would say when it comes to music, he makes more than Drake. If if you're signed to a major, your record labels matter. I mean, your your record sales matter. And see, that's and that goes right back to what we talked about not too long ago about how you don't need to. There's no point in signing to a major nowadays unless you have unless you have something to offer them. True, but I take that back because currency is signed to a major. I'm yeah, he's well, signed to Warner Brothers did, now. Did, just but, the distribution. Just distribution, though. though. You sure? Yeah, hundred okay, 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 percent. Okay, it's, okay. it's, it's like Warner Brothers can't. Yep. Really, they that's can't true. Really but see, that, that's what that's what our future went with a distribution deal with Sony. Yeah, but it was it was their independent distribution, like Sony Red. So, but yeah. but the the label that cultivated them though was an indie, was XL yeah, Recording. Yeah. XL, which so that's so all who you got like Adele artists. on there and yeah, all fucking the XX is still yeah yeah. Cool Kids was on XL for a while too. That's right. That's right. So. I mean, it's it for a certain artists. It definitely doesn't matter if, because, like, I feel like artists like independent artists, people like Dom Kennedy, yeah. Big Crit, Mac Miller, they matter more on the road because well, Mac, they got to work harder. But what well, Crit is signed? Well, yeah, but he's still. I would still say he's more independent. Like well, hold, uh, in, hold the, hold in the crowd, in, in, in the in the music scene wise. True, true. He's still he's still up and coming. Yeah, I would say he's still up and coming. So what? Hold on. So you're saying that. Where are we going with this? You're saying that it only matters for signed artists, or it only matters what, what was... to artists that were built, that their reputation was built on record sales. Okay, so like Jay Z okay. came from an era where like you said, had to one, buy the CD, the one percenters. Yeah, you, right. I, I feel like it matters to them. I feel like if you take away record sales from them, they have no power. Right. True. I agree I, with that. But I still think record sales give an indication. Like I'm, what? I'm, I, I don't though. Because I, I really because don't. regardless of who it is, say so. Say if Kendrick Lamar came out today. With his album, say if his album dropped today. No, no, no. Okay, we will be thinking. Yeah, that's what we'll be thinking. Seventy, we'll be like, that's good. Seventy. No, I, w- I mean, I mean, say, but I mean, but it's for a person who doesn't have a single on the radio. Do you think it'll do seventy? I'm thinking it's going. I think it's going to hit hundred k. But see, if it hit hundred k, then record sales is an indicator because it's like, damn. Kendrick Lamar did a hundred thousand. But he worked for those. Uh, he worked for those records. You sales, see, that's so. why this is such a touchy, such a like a fucking iffy subject because like. J. Cole does 215, and we're like, holy shit. Yeah, because nobody expected that. I sure didn't. I'm not even going to front. Do y'all remember when Wale did 28? <laughs> I expect, I, I probably. If, if, Why if, y'all if, laughing at my man Wale, bro? Because I forgot and about why, that. And that was why, a great album, too. No, I Attention Deficit was tight. I like Attention Deficit. And if Wale Deficit. came out again, with uh, his ne- whatever his next solo project comes out, just add like another twenty eight to that. No, but he did. He did. Ambition, Ambition did, like did one sixty eight. One sixty eight. Was it that much? I was gonna say one fourteen. No, it been one sixty eight first week. Yeah, yeah, I think it was one sixty eight. If I'm not mistaken. I don't even think it went more than that. Really, <laughs> I don't. I don't think he even did. He cr- has he even cracked three hundred thousand? Who Wale? Yeah. I, oh, I have no idea. I don't think he's I even kept cracked. up with it. I, but but uh, look, I, I, at the end of the day, I think <clears> I think it's this is what it is. For some artists, the Nicki Minaj's, the Drakes, the Hoves, the Kanye's, they that, that record sales absolutely matter. That it's really for the people who aren't really in depth with it. The people that you know, we talked about a couple weeks ago. I went to high school with who don't know who the fuck Kendrick Lamar is. True. See true. that you know, say Jay Z's next album flops, he only does one forty five. People are like, God damn, where yeah, the fuck? What the fuck happen. happened? I know, but I'm, I'm saying, I'm just, I'm just trying to throw <laughs> okay, that. Okay, okay. I'm trying to posit that. So. It matters for the one percenters, but I don't think that if Kid Cudi were to come out with his next album and he only does eighty, it wouldn't matter. I, no, I don't no, think no, it would nobody matter. Would true. Nobody would true. Uh, Tyler did forty five, bro, on his debut album. Wasn't it fifty? No, it may have been, but the I mean forty five, fifty, 50 I whatever. Same thing. Does forty five? Does fifty? Whatever. He and then goes and tours the fucking world. Oh yeah. I mean, oh yeah. So I'm saying yeah. for um, for the majority of artists in the hip hop genre, I don't think record sales matter anymore. As far as and getting money, no. Notoriety, in in a, a big scheme of notoriety, I would say they do. Do you think that? Do you think record sales plays a part in uh, awards? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, hands that, down. Yeah. Because that comes with the notoriety. Yeah. You know, you selling records, everybody knows you. I think to it to some awards because like, um, I know Mike's gonna give me crap for this, <laughs> but uh, like when Esperanza Spalding won Best New Artist. Like I didn't know who she was. I didn't. She did. She ain't sell no records or nothing like that. I, I didn't either. I mean, did, to be is that, did you look her up? Did I you? didn't. I looked her up after she won. She didn't sell, she no didn't records? sell records. Nah. Oh, okay. She ain't sold nothing. But so I mean, so that's why I get. I get kind of. So if we, if 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 if, if notoriety goes into awards, I mean, I think sometimes they just try to throw a curveball, not to just seem too biased to True. who's popular. True. Because I was like, I Mike, I got mad. I was like, 
how's this girl I never even heard of beat out Drake and Justin Bieber for best new artist? Yeah, you beat out Justin Bieber, you in this middle of shit. Yeah, so that's what I would think anyway. Yeah, so I was just like, who? And Mike was telling me like, yo, she's tight. I mean, he, I went back and listened, and she got skills. I ain't even gonna front. She got skills. I was just shocked. I was very shocked by that. But when I'm, I'm, we gonna get back to the music real quick. When we get back though, I want to talk about. I want to talk about why do you feel people don't support their artists and buy albums anymore? Why are they just so quick to to download it? Because for me, if I like you, if I support you, and you make a good product, I will buy your album, straight up. But, yeah, I would. I would too. I can so, agree with that. so when we get back, it's I a very s- select few. But yeah. I, I agree so, with yeah. so when yeah. we get back, I want to discuss that a little bit. This is J Will, Rico Slice, Rallo, and Live from the Underground. Yeah. Whoop. Hey, man. Hey. Just trying to get up the park. Hey, what's up with the situation, Jug? One time for my niggas, hold up, yup, catch up. Hold up, like the neck of a star. Purple weed, purple drink, purple swag. me with a cup the other day hit my nigga carver d no boy he ain't crack tell him it's a pool party asap bumping out the speakers coffee cups with lids this way nobody accidentally ashing in my shit got a few two liters and it's about to go now finnegan is the prescription of choice just call us the finnegan boys i do all this shit just to say get off my dick Like a fucking star They ask me what I like to drink And I say I'm alright Then all you see is my purple Sprite Glistening off of the strobe light No Jolly Ranchers please This act is all I need I hope it ain't cliche to shoot Pimp C or R.I.P As well as DJ Screw Since I made up this tune about lean But that's a blade All I see is the Like section 8 The homies say he got a few teens That's three sixteens And a whole lot of cream I crack a seal and drop a deuce, now I got mixed emotions From here on out, slow motion I do all this shit just to say get off my dick You think you know, but you have no idea The lights are low, the mood is right I got a flow Who got a Sprite? Who got a Sprite? Who got a Sprite? Just to say, get off my dick. You think you know? Yeah. Coming down, still sipping. Draped up, dripped out, still sipping. On. Coming down, still sipping. Draped up, dripped out, still sipping. On. I love the poem more than you know. Gotta let it show. I love. Yeah. 
It's your man, Ladies Ace Da Vinci. Sitcoms, Welcome man. to Sitcoms. And I am <laughs> Babyface Monster. Yeah, Shit while you're in motion in the city trying to make dollars touch another day another dollars not enough this windy city in your speakers what's the word fully it's all the same from the low end to the bird fully hey this was for my niggas doing biz single mothers raising kids go ahead do your biz when I was younger, mama said I'd be a star Built it from the ground up, now I'm here to take it far I'm Ace Da Vinci, pimp, nice to meet you Breakfast time, I ate a slice of pizza Lunch time, I only switched it up And by dinner time, I don't give a fuck This my life, so I live it up Drop the ball and I'ma pick it up Smart mouth, come and get with us If you a bad bitch, you need a dick to suck All I claim is my crew, nigga Still the same, it ain't new, nigga Boy, I be on that bullshit Put dead rolls in my shoes, nigga I don't believe in reincarnation So the yellow shit, it ain't true, nigga Go hard and go home If you go home, it's on you, nigga I should have pawned myself I did it all myself Till I built me a team Now my niggas all for wealth That's why I call myself an American dream Started out with no pot to piss in I never had much with the flow so tough that you got the list Seeing, see all I know is victory I got a lot of energy Pimpin' came from Shot Town But I was born in Tennessee Which means I like 3 6 8 ball MJG and Hennessy Turn around, bump that you would die Better act like you knew the shot I ain't love Welcome to my project, some haters can't handle This just the intro, don't change that channel Niggas hate that they lame, more squares than flannel Pussy stay in my lane, I show the way like a candle See what I'm jams my nigga, even though he Caucasian I'm cool my brother, slid to keep the way blazing Baby face monster, that nigga got bangers Throw the L's up for them hitters, middle fingers up for them haters See bitch, I'm in that caddy, and I'm on the way to get paid for this boy meets world's flow And I got me a black Topanga Back in the B-double-O-T-A Spit a flow in the coldest state Laugh in the boldest state In the USA The shot town in your face Heavy Yeah You motherfuckers ain't spitting like that, man You niggas is not spitting like that Tell them I turn up What do we say, man? Smart mouth, nigga Smart mouth, nigga. It's fun. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the pin star. I say I'm by the pin star. <laughs> that was decoded. We just decoded the Ace Da Vinci code. <laughs> the Ace Da Vinci. <laughs> That sound like a that sound like an album right, right. there. Man. Shout out to the homie Ace Da Vinci and shout out to the homie Av Soul giving us support to play his music on the show. That's free promotion. He might as well give us support for it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, by the way, just want to make it known that uh that record was produced by Dallas's own Brain Gang Blue. Yes, mixed emotions. If you haven't got Control System, I really don't know what is wrong with you. You got to get that joint straight fire all the way through. So shout out to Av Soul. Now, before we left, we said we're going to talk about how, you know, why certain people just don't support the artists that they go so hard for. Like, you'll hear people go, man, this person needs to be on the radio. I can't believe. Ain't no, and then go straight to downloading this stuff. I mean, why do y'all feel that happen? I mean, I, I mean, I know times are hard, but practice what you preach. If you feel this person should be on the radio, if you're talking all this mess, if you feel this person should be more known, why aren't you supporting them more? What if they go to their concert? I mean, and pay thirty dollars to see him play live. I mean, I feel if you could play pay thirty dollars to see him live, you can pay twelve to get the CD. Right, but what's or it even less? And like, if you're like more independent, like I think it cost me five dollars to get Kendrick's joint at the Club Paradise tour. But I mean, but you you can you you pay the five for a constant experience, right? Mm-hmm. You pay thirty for a one night experience. I so. mean, I mean, but <laughs> but do I mean, but I but that but if if the record if the record sales went back up, don't you think that would help the industry a little bit? Yeah, I mean, but the industry fucked up as it is. What? I mean, <laughs> but I mean, how do we fix it though? I mean, we gotta we gotta fix piracy, things I, like that. I mean, yeah, but but the thing is, I, it, this kind of goes back to the album sale thing again. You have people like Nas who does leak and still sells. Mm-hmm. 
So I think it's, it's, it, it is more so the quality of music. You know what I mean? Because because the, the artists you want, how many artists is that that comes out with a physical copy that you go buy? Me personally? You personally? Like who who are the artists that you go out and buy physically? Okay. Uh, I'll, anytime Jay or Kanye drops something, they always go platinum with or without your purchase. I was about to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Kendrick. I got I got Kendrick's projects. Um, I got the Asso project. Um, I'm getting schoolboying soon. With a physical? Or with yeah, that? physical. Okay. Um, cause I I still I still get CDs. You know what I'm saying? But that's me personally. I do too. I, I like the feeling of a physical um, copy. Of I got movie. the I got the copy of Forever in the Day by Big Crit. Okay. Um, you know I got Mac Miller's Kids, on on this. So like I don't like. But so that was free though. But I still paid the money to support the artist. <laughs> Wait, he gave him a donation just to get it on CD. Like, nah, like oh. there's like there's, there's stores that sell like mixtapes, like actually on uh, disc. Oh, uh, they're hustling. But that's not that sense, didn't go to man. the artist. They don't go to the artist. You Kids was the, free, bro. Yeah. So 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 you bought all these at like a like a look like a, in the in in the mom and pop like in Redbird. No, nah, it was in the there's a, there's a shop uh, at the Parks Mall. Okay, and oh, they, it was it was like was, was it mixtapes? Yeah, was it mixtapes and stuff? That yeah, they that don't go to the artist. Hell no. Nah. That goes straight to the like, store. I think, uh, but aren't if they're like officially through the rec- like uh, forever in a day wasn't officially mi- like released. It was mixtape. a free release. Bro. Like Stally, Stally had copies of Intelligent Trump music that he sold, and I got a copy of that. That was fifteen. That goes straight to Stally. Okay. Would you buy it from the website? No, I bought it from like when he at his show. Okay, uh, so that's, okay. yeah, that, okay. you bought it from the show. Yeah. But yeah. those cats in those record stores. They just making money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the point is, I do support the artists. Yeah, you know I'm not, what I'm in, in good heart and good faith. You're, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. And, and you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm retro to some extent. I like to have the CDs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I like to feel the physical copy. I, I still like, get vinyl too. You know I like taking. I like the 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 cover art. I, li- I like all that. Yeah, I, I yeah. Too. yeah. So I mean, I I'm not saying everybody should follow my lead. Like walk behind me in the streets. Like yeah, you right. But I'm just saying. I mean, don't. I mean, if you gonna go so hard for something, like, I mean, do it yourself. My answer to the whole this this whole discussion of of what you said. Why do people not support anymore? Is because it is simply too easy yeah. not to. It's simply too easy to just go to filestube.com. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah. fucking put in whatever album you want and you got it in five minutes. Rather than, you know, people who want the physical yeah. copy riding to their and local record store. I mean, and then you got Spotify. I never have to buy the yeah, album. Man. I just, it's just yeah, too listen to easy. The yeah. and just listen to it whenever I'm ready. And there are people who are legitimate, like hardcore music lovers, but... That that will support the artists that they love the most, but they're in such a minority. Yeah, because the only such reason, a minority. Because the only reason why Memphis Bleak went platinum. <laughs> Quit picking on Memphis Bleak, dog. <laughs> no, but think about it, like 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 for real. Come on, Memphis Bleak. Today, if Memphis Bleak came out, would he go platinum? Uh, we, he'd, he'd have lower sales than Cray Shaw. Like. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> so 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 we're saying that the only way to hear what Memphis Bleak had on this album was to buy it. It was to buy. You had to buy. Like, and that was the only way unless you got it from one of your mans. So, I mean, let me, let me ask this. Do you feel like if some of the artists that have gone platinum, like, in the 90s or so, if they came out, like, like new artists today, that they go platinum like they did? If Biggie came out today? Biggie well, probably would, because Biggie was, he was ahead of his time. Up. Jay? No, man. No. You don't think Biggie I don't think either one no. of them. Fuck I don't think no. either one. Today's hip hop? The most high. If nobody has no. heard of Biggie or Jay yet, and they just came out today, no. No, that's not even no. a relevant conversation, Jay. because one, like, one person on earth went platinum first week this past year. Who Adele. Adele. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> like the highest selling hip hop record in the entire past year was fucking Nicki Minaj. She did 253 albums first week, 253 thousand albums first week. It's not that's not even close, bro. That's 25 percent of the way there. Yeah. Like hip hop albums do not go that far because or do not sell that many records because it's just too easy it's too to easy. just fucking hit files to and go get your favorite artist's new album. It's too easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it, and I really wish there was a way to fix that. I mean, cause this, this always you always hear these artists talking about that like, the, I mean a lot of artists lose creativity from their labels because of this, you know they they like oh you can't do it you can't do that that's not gonna sell yeah. right you know what I'm saying uh, I, case in point Lupe on Lupe, lasers yeah. yeah see and but then again I think that's just the kind of you know control 
what's really kind of going on and what music that won't that 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 they feel that needs to be out there. And I mean, I, I can't fully so, sit on my high horse because I don't know if a, if a record company threw thirty thousand dollars at my feet, say, hey, it's yours. I don't know if I'd fully say, eh, you know, I don't know about that. You gotta you, you gotta really just be like, okay, I'm not gonna take it. If, if you, like if you someone like cashing out, cash out whatever his name is, yeah. and they throw. Fifty to a hundred thousand dollars at your feet. Lord have mercy, his <laughs> career is he, already over. He bro. took it. What do you mean? They a hundred and fifty thousand. They probably gave cash out of Cadillac, <laughs> <laughs> some new. And gears, I know for a fact. And, I know a for stack. a fact that he was hitting five figures for a while touring. I know that for cash a fact. Cash out. Yep. Yeah. That's really. Only, that that sounds huge. I know. I, I I even bump it every now and then. I ain't even gonna front. But I didn't realize he was that because I mean you got number look two, at, bro. It was the number two record in the country regardless of genre at one point. Really? Yep. Run around with that Nina. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, and that leads on. That segues into what we were talking about a little bit earlier about these rappers with singles oh, that okay, go yeah, platinum yeah. and like double platinum and quadruple platinum, but their albums don't sell nothing. True. Like Future had what like four. Like really big singles, but his album didn't sell I mean, nothing. I Did mean, like forty three. I mean, shot. You know what I mean. Shout out to Duro. Forty three hundred. I was. I was going. Yeah, I was yeah. coming to Duro. I say too, yeah. shout out to Duro. You know what I mean for doing what he did for the city, putting on. But he had two platinum singles. Mm-hmm. And record sales album. were under twenty thousand total yeah. first week. So, first, yeah. You know. But that you know, but but see, it's that's tough to it's tough to quantify because like he just said he had two. He had I don't two, I didn't know, I didn't know they went platinum, but I know he yeah. had two yeah, I know very Ice well. Paint, mm-hmm. I know Ice Cream no. Paint Job was huge. A fucking guy had Snoop Dogg on the remix. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like now, Get he, Big was in every stadium. Yeah, yeah it was everywhere. Everywhere yeah. it was everywhere. Both you know, song was huge. And and that's the thing is like, not every artist has to. I mean, this is gonna sound very very just like. <laughs> very shallow of me but not every artist goes for like the full length great projects like what what's wrong with putting out what what's wrong with Flo Rida doing what he does is what I'm saying I don't actually don't see a problem with what Flo Rida does Flo Rida's not catering to the hip hop community for one well I mean but like let's let's just, <laughs> let's just cover all music like for a second just, with that it's like I mean that's a good point why 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 in today's age in, in whatever what Flo Rider is doing works for him yeah he's 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 accepted what he does well right. and right. he goes forward with it yeah. what's wrong with that i mean yeah is I, it is I, it really see, fucking up game no, that much no, if you're I don't a think, single rapper a do you think i don't yeah. I, I mean real talk i don't i don't is is you do you choose your own lane you my my you only do. issue is you you a single rapper and you come out your mouth saying you like better than yeah, some man, people yeah. i ain't even going front i saw i saw an interview with soldier boy back in 07 and he said at this point in time i'm better than kanye west no nah, that on, fool man. he's so he's like delusional was not the right <laughs> word for that fucking guy <laughs> it's uh, I can't do nothing but laugh it, so it, i mean so i mean like if you if you have a certain niche and you just that niche rapper or singer or whatever, I mean just just accept it and yeah. roll on. I can take that. I can take that. Yeah. But don't sit there and come out of your mouth and say you better than. You know what they should do? Hmm. Just put out mad singles. And when they get to like ten, put that shit together and like an <laughs> make an album. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah. That's I mean, the fuck I do. That- <laughs> <laughs> like if I can make, if I can make, if I know I can sit in a booth and make one song, and that's all I have to do is focus on one song every four months. I'm chilling. Those people shouldn't even come out with albums. Then I don't think. But come out to ten singles, and but you, you have to. to you to, got to, to, please. to please the label. Yeah, to please the you label. But the label should look at that. I think. Think about it. You wasting you wasting money putting out an album that ain't gonna sell. That's a, that's actually a really good point. True, but but then again, they think it's going to sell because the single itself is hot. They think. the record companies should at this point should realize what's going on. Nah, man, yeah, but they're re- no, nah, they, they have no fucking nah, clue. It's a, it's a whole it's a whole bunch of old cats. Yeah, w- straight w- up old white dudes, black dudes sitting there who still will tell you Chuck D. Is the top lyricist of all time. This fucking guy is over here <laughs> shooting slugs on the low. Nah, uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> I, forgot like I forgot Chuck D was in his top five. Top ten, top ten, top ten. Uh, shout out to Chuck D. Hey. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I think, I mean, I think that's a good idea. Just come out with like three, four, come out with five singles. Put and together a little EP of those five it, singles I'm and leave, and do that. Sell that shit for seven dollars. I think that would be better than selling a full length album full of crap that yeah. ain't gonna sell nothing. 
uh, selling a single for that much? No, 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 no. No, no like an no, no. EP, a, a, a EP, EP of, of their singles. Of the singles? Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Yeah. I think I think that would I think that'd be better. I think Say that real, would real talk the road if he could put get big ice cream paint job and say let's say two more other good songs. Walk that three, walk. Walk that bass, walk. That low end, that bass. And, and, I, hey, that and was the good. new joint and then the new joint will walk up. If he could have put all five of them on one album, that would sell. It would sell. Yeah. I believe put that. It, put it up for three ninety nine, four ninety nine. I believe that. And Seven dollars. I, yeah, I believe he's doing the right thing now too, because he's with E One, which is like the biggest independent rap company there is. So yeah, but I mean, if he wants to sell records though, he's gonna have to start. He's gonna have to start like, you know what I mean, rapping, like showing that he got skills on the mic. I think he's. I like Darrell. Like I've I've come out and said that before. I actually like Darrell. Like, no, he he is, bro. Like he doesn't see. That's why I fuck with Darrell is because he's not out here trying to change the world with every fucking record he does. Yeah. He like he understands his lane and like the silent assassin joint. Understand he tried to, um, you know, shout out to Duro by the way. This is no no shade yeah, yeah, being thrown yeah. here. He um he I think he tried to go a little bit out of his lane and really tried to like get in that booth and wrap his ass off. And that's not really him. I re- but then he came back with the highlights joint and it's like yeah this is okay, him. Okay, well let me say I, this. Then. Let me say this. Let me clear it up and not say he has to start rapping. I mean yeah he has to start rapping, but making good music overall. On a full album list, you know what I mean. Yeah. It, it, it can't be a stint of three songs. Like, oh, it has to be a full album of good music. Then, you know what I mean. Then I think you can start to throw the name. Out well, there. I'd like that's to actually, it, 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 I'd like to actually, actually talk DeRoe, to Darrell and see what his his plan of attack is. Like, what is it he wants? We'll get that full on here. Yeah, soon. yeah, we'll have to get him on here eventually. But I mean, because I would just love to pick his brain about that. Yeah, you see, and, and I would like to pick. I mean, because you got to. I, mean, I really, I would really like to see what any of these. That's a lot of quote, quote unquote one hit wonder or single rappers. What their plan of attack, like what it is they actually want. Like some rappers, like Cash Out may be okay with the fact that Cash Cash Out may be his one and only big nah, single. I, <laughs> I, hope that, I, I hope that. I hope that's not. There are no, rappers. Not, his there end are rappers. Goal in life. There are no, rappers who it. who their main goal is to get in, get their paper, get out. Come on, but no, it's not one rapper who's ever had a major hit that didn't want another hit. Yeah, it's not a one rapper like whoop got my hit. I'm out. I'm nah. out. Back to the trap. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I just did this re up on you, boys. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, shit. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that he that was like his plan of attack. But I'm saying he may be okay if that happens. I highly doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. I think. It's, I mean, because that's 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 like that's like the athlete just wanting to get to the to getting in the league. Yeah, and not even playing the game, like man, I'm satisfied. You know, shit, practice shit. squad. You know, shit. And but is is that really too far fetched for today's hip hop though? For you to believe that people just satisfied for just the one hit and get the fame? Yeah, bro. Like, there's, no one wants just that. Like, I don't know because even... cause once once you get a, a bit of success, man, you may go into think, thinking that bullshit. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna get one single and I'm good. But nah, get that one single wherever you go. In every city, you hear your song on the radio. You gonna want that again. You gonna want that. You gonna want that feeling again. again. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, and Blue, uh, Blue's brother went over to. Uh, he he has a new clothing line out. Uh, Wage War. Make sure yeah. you go to wagewar.com. Um, he went over to Africa for a little trip. He had a grand over there, and he was talking about he was in um, like these little night spots over in Africa, and he was talking about the music they were playing. He's like, bro, Cash Out was everywhere. <laughs> Really? In fucking Rwanda or wherever he was at. Like, I mean, it's Shit, nuts. Man. It's everywhere, man. I mean, and and it's it's just they just I, have the regular I, version I, too. I, 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 I just don't. I try to I try to grasp my head around the concept of just making hit singles and not selling records like that. That just kind of that just kind of boggles my mind. I mean, a thanks bit. iTunes. Thank thank you should thank. Steve Jobs and iTunes. iTunes got their money. I, I, they ain't uh, even tripping. Peace, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? No shot, Steve Jobs. But thank, thank iTunes. Rest in peace. Cause, cause, cause you could, iTunes is the first platform where you, if you didn't have to buy the album, you can buy just one song. Right. I mean, all you had ringtone. Ringtone rap. Fat Joe. <laughs> shout out to Fat Joe. That's all he can rep is really ringtone. So shout out to Fat Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier hey, Boy, <laughs> Soldier Boy hey, gave him a career. You know what I'm saying? Fucking but, uh, Fat we, Joe's new single so bad, by the way. Which one? Pride and Joy. I haven't even listened to Holy it. Holy fucking to shit! It. Yeah. We go, <laughs> we go, we gonna end off on that note right there. We gonna Lean get back, back to the music, y'all. <laughs> and we gonna get back to Jay Will, Rallo, and Rico Slice on yeah. Live and Underground. You did. Vintage Road. Beastie Boys, so beastie, 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 beastie Boys, so beastie. I leave a beat destroyed. 
I leave a beat destroyed. I leave a beat destroyed. I leave a beat destroyed. Beastie boys, so beastie, beast, 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 beastie boys, so beastie. I leave a beat destroyed. 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 'Cause I got bars like chocolate dropper, wild like waka flocka, lyrical cannon that spit the infinite blocker blocker. With every sentence I'm giving, I be raising my stocker. But you niggas spitting that gibberish, sounding like Chewbacca. I eat weak MCs, I feast, I feast, snapping any moment like middle world peace. And when I speak, you'll be up shit's creek. I'm on point, mo cheeks. Don't rock the boat, nigga. I take on whole fleets. I preach, and the booth is my pulpit. I'm breaking out in hives 'cause I'm allergic to bullshit. I'm from the old school where skills was all that. And if you didn't possess it, then you'd have to fall back. Me and my nigga Ness, we dressed up in all black. You take us on, you run up, but crawl back. It's easy. Rest in peace to the great Adam Yow. May his legacy live forever, BC. Like Hank McCoy, there ain't a beat that I can't destroy. You heard something that leak on the streets from this region that's weak. Well, it ain't your boy. I got that heat for the streets here, like Tanker Toys. Oops, Tonka Toys, Tonka Trucks. The shit that I conjure up is classified as fucking Willy Wonka's nuts. Pause. Nope, stop and eject. I properly wreck niggas be trying to press play but forgot the cassette. The scary is Holly Berry on the got the cassette. A Tyler Perry dressed as Medea, shadow boxing with Tretch. A shot to your chest, you forgot I'm a threat. Two hammers for swinging like I'm Bruce Banner when niggas just got him upset. Clever and quirky, high pedestal worthy. You never will murder me, become an attempt and you can get medical surgery. Play the game and get found dead in your jersey. Use an appetizer, I'm an entree. You can never desert me. Beastie boys, so beastie. No beauty, we leave the Rudy Pooty for Disney movies. Spitting like Uzis, niggas don't want this like cooties. Getting total recall, cuties, three titties, two booties. Fuck these human hoes, we up on the mutant groupies. Back in the Mac, in the back of the Acura. But really, the fact of the matter is, we what with killers in the Maxima. Ain't nobody matching us. Gladiators like Maximus, try talking shit at your mouth with your body unattached to it. Troy Aikman, accurate, magical, abracadabra shit. Turn to play your hating activist, fucking cadaverish. Your best is my average. Oh yeah, we Randy Savages. The number of bastards created can't count on the abacus. Hazardous, a baritone with punchlines like fabulous. I'm trapping them like Stevie Wonder deep inside a labyrinth. Adamant that I'm about to blow like Sifo. A beast from another planet feeding Simo. Beastie boys, so beastie, 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 beastie boys, so beastie. Composition page. I'm high up and in the days. Look, 
my nigga ain't shit changed. I'm trying Roll to up. maintain and stay in my vein. As I move up this chain, I stay the same. I'm on the same thing I was on yesterday. Ain't nothing promised to you, man. I still won't change. Look, look, one double O, getting money on the road. Dues and force, don't forget to pay your toll. Lane clearly drawn, I suggest you stay in yours. This is me, not some made up facade. When I record, jump aboard and ride along. And I'ma be alright, cause I know right from wrong. Quoting verses from Psalms, don't make a nigga righteous. Gotta go through it and do it before you know what life is. Roll up my swisher, refresh my picture, I'm high def. Bumping quietly and high tech, got my queen on my left. Extra eyes for my step, keep me on course, cause I tend to stray. My lady and my kids, a terrific day. Hit the crib, roll a split, play some 2K. Tomorrow night I got a gig, tonight we parlay. I hit that liquor store and grab some yak too. I kill that, fall back. I'm trying to maintain and stay in my lane. As I move up this chain, I stay the same. I'm on the same thing. Yeah, I was on yesterday. Uh -huh. Ain't yeah. nothing promised to you, man. Nothing. I still won't change. Look, 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 it's the same thing, just a different day. A young nigga go out of control to get the pay. Look, a young nigga come out of his soul, give it to you raw and uncut shit. That's all that I know. I tried too hard. I'm all in on this music shit like five good cars. No poker table, hopefully able to be living large. My bucket list to get fucking rich, to stay in the same lane with bucket switch. I'm Lamboed up. I know my mama see I'm all grown up. I'm raising my kids and in God we trust, yes. But when eyes get rough, I get high as fuck. I might rob your bruh. I mean, I'm pulling up beside you, buy a truck. No, my brother tore a bus, move your shit out the road. And yeah, there's more of us, that means you got to go. Since 1988, I've been letting you know. I'm trying to maintain yeah. and stay in my lane as I move up this chain. I stay the same, I'm on the same thing, I was on yesterday, ain't nothing promised to you man, I still won't change. Original Excite Bike, y'all know what I'm talking about, A for gas, B for break, uh, this is some real motherfucking shit, alright, here. I'm crazy, baby. I'm looking fly in a brand new button up. I feel like Jeremy Piven in the entourage is stepping up. I got a hold of the goods, a rearranged needle, so now the lean is inside my supper cup. Smoke six, smash ashtrays, kick butt, show the who's who, the real what's what. Give anyone who doubts me the finger fuck. Bellwether, Bel Air, hot off the press, the fresh prints here. Well, you were out of innovating TVs, getting hot like Kelly Kapowski, Waco in 93. Davidian tragedy? Nah, just me beating down punks with the branch used for Kindle. The fleeting flock have suddenly lost their fleece Naked, cold, alone, and counting down the hours Till the seats of a radio cancer Boardroom romancer slash dancer That beats women for some answers We well, want some crack, man Let me bring it back in After shots of the Kraken After illing with the sick children And getting lost out at Bags End With the Baggins Found the one ring Dark power over grammar And structuring all along with me You wanna fuck with me? You don't even know where to begin I'm just doing these tracks To have some good times with my friends not to say that I'm writing without passion The fact is, I'm not here to relive the past tense I'm passing to aggressive, stay before the molested About to beat the heads of anyone who think they can't be bested Bright mind, writing rhymes and highlighter For my family with this disguise like Mrs. Doubtfire Drag the nightmare into the daylight I put two favorite tracks into one ace line Pay attention and respect Hats off before you get raps for running your glass jaw Rat star rampaging on the lifeless body That you left behind when you went crying home for your mommy You're only Sloppy as I pull on the white beat Start getting back into school for a fresh degree It's not degrees to keep me fresh, I'm in the red zone Live life luckily, love us with no core zone Must I was born in mosh pits, you can't cop it Stop it, leave impending doom on all you lost profits Try to have patience, it's a process I know I'm a honey badger compared to the sloth kids Your mic's plugged in, but I hit mute And trash your last tape, Texas doesn't pollute Alright, so we are back on live from the underground Shout out to the boy who... <laughs> shout out to the boy who just had a song on the radio. He in the chat rooms chatting it up. Like, I want to shout him out for real. And he on Twitter sh uh, shouting us out, man. So, 
I want to say shout out to Mr. Space Dunk. You feel me? Uh, Dave K, Deek the Geek. Shout out to him. If you haven't listened to him, listen to him because he's that homie real quick. Mike failed to put me up on him too. So, uh, you know, so obviously Mike know what he's talking about. So, shout out to him. Hey, so we are back. And, we, and when we left off, we were talking about singles. Um, are there any rappers that came out with like a hit single that y'all actually like, like enjoy? Like, uh, like people that come to mind right now is uh, Two Chains, uh, uh, Cash Out, Future, or uh, Chief Keef, people like but, that. But Two Chains mm-hmm. did 150,000 first week. True, true, true. true. <laughs> you know, that's just that's gonna every be a, time. Man. I know that's just gonna be a new thing dance. with us. I, I feel it coming. But I mean, it, I think one thing with him, Shit, what he does, what he did is just the epitome of what I feel encompasses the new age rapper, which is start from the ground up and build yourself back. Because he had a career, he had a career, and then started completely over again. Who? Two chains. I mean, he he they they shoved him, took him through artist development. Like they did Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Shelvin took it through all his development. He went from Titty Boy to, to Chains. Chains. And you've seen the difference. I mean, but shout out to that. Shout out to him for actually finding it. Because a lot of artists are not able to go back into the tank and come back out. And or are willing to. In that too. So, yeah, you know I mean, but I don't listen to 2 Chains. I actually rock with 2 Chains. I ain't I even going front. I don't either, man. You really don't? No. Nah, his show was great the other night. But I guess like, if you're a Gucci fan, I know. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> that, that might, might be, be it right there. I was like, like y'all like Gucci. How you like, not going to like 2 Chains? I don't know if it's as, as severe, but it's like being an Ohio State or a Michigan fan, I think. Mm, Damn. Okay. Because I, mean? I don't no. fuck with... I, I mean, I can't say I don't fuck with them, but like I don't really dig 2 Chains. But Gucci Mane, I will listen to for the next three days straight. And <laughs> so, so when we're talking about like new age rappers and rappers who are established, who are trying to like sound like a new age rapper, i.e., Kanye, Buster Rhymes, like, Buster Rhymes. Like oh, I, 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 I was at work today, and and it hit me. I'm like, that's all he and you know what's funny about that is he actually doesn't say anything. No, I don't nah. know what he's saying. Because nah. I've actually listened to it before, like really put a close ear on it, and he actually does not say anything. Like, Real it's just, it's just, it's just the uh, <laughs> the effect of yo, he's rapping like that. He's going hard. No yep. bullshit. Jerry Jones and the T-Mobile guy has been the top. Is in the top five raps in the past five years. Real skur. <laughs> I'm I'm sad to say that. <laughs> That may be true. Yeah, Jerry Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for Jerry Jones, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry. I know we're talking about some real shit, but Jerry Jones was actually on beat. He was on cue. That whole rap. I don't, he may wrote that himself too. Uh, I won't be surprised yeah. if Jerry didn't write that himself. Uh, He's better God. than Lil Wayne. I'm putting that out there today. <laughs> Jerry Jones is better than Lil Wayne, and I go toe to toe with anybody. Hey, we got we got people in the chat room asking for the sports segment. Wow, for real? Yeah. I y'all want to talk sports a little bit. We, didn't, we, we, we was talking. We was talking a, a little bit behind the scenes about the officials coming back. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk on that a little bit. Yeah. How you feeling about that? I think people can finally stop complaining. Yeah. For one, I'm ready for that. But like, I I, I was at work when this game happened. Uh, I, I was told that the what the the Packers game, the Packers game that happened the other night was mm-hmm. like the worst officiated game of all time. Yeah, it was pretty tough. It was a bad game. But I mean, what you expect, man? These damn referees are fans. Why are they like, why are the refs on strike in the first place? I couldn't tell. Pension. You. Yeah, they it's all, it's all it comes down to is you had a bunch of part time employees that um their union is very strong and they wanted a pension. And they, yeah. it ended up, what ended up happening is from, from what I've read and for, from my research, what I've done on it is ended up being such a minuscule amount of money really? at the end of the day that the owners were really trying to hold back. It's just like, how the fuck did they not just from the get go? I think it was an ego thing to be completely yeah, honest because it was, it ended up being like a total of like a hundred thousand dollars per team. Yeah. Is what it ended up being. So it's like, really, you're fucking, you got a bunch of Division three guys who are fans of New Orleans yeah. that you're getting in here Yo, rather than the real no, refs. The re- one of the like, referees told Reggie Bush, hey, you're on my fantasy team. See, like that's some shit as a ref you shouldn't be you saying. You don't even on, do, you keep that to yourself. <laughs> Come on, B. Like, you like, keep that straight <laughs> up to yourself. Like no bullshit so you Get away with that holding, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. come on now. <laughs> like, but what the fuck? <laughs> my whole thing is like, I was, uh, from my understanding, these refs are basically just seasonal employees. I mean, but they're gone now. 
Huh? They're gone. So the real or are you talking back. about the real ones or the, the real ones? Yeah, the real yeah, ones. They, I mean, part time and I mean, I, so like, how much were they paying them? Like, bro, the, these guys, these fucking guys get up to two hundred thousand dollars a year. And as part time employees. So, so what's the problem? The pension. The pension. It's all okay. about the pension. It's yeah. the pension. It's what like, I've been working for so long. Like shit, you retire. It. It, it was because they were part time employees. You retire and you don't get shit. Yeah, you don't. Get That's shit. what. But but as part time employee, na- name another fucking organization or corporation where their part time employees get fucking four hundred one k's. Show me that, and I will go work there. Because <laughs> like, I'm saying it doesn't happen. It just simply doesn't happen. But it ended up coming to fruition where these fucking part time employees of the National Football League now have full pensions. That's true. Mm-hmm. And, and all it took was fuck a college. I am going to be a ref. <laughs> <laughs> Straight yeah, up, bro. Real but, shit. Yeah. And, and in the off season, just chill and go fucking mow the lawn. I mean, honestly, fun. as a ref, you deal with a lot too. Because you make a call that a lot of people don't agree with. And they will find you because these some hardcore fans out here. Yeah, True. they will find you after the game. True, but I'm I'm gonna go to say this: all this ref shit and all this shit that the NFL is doing. I think in the next couple of years, the NBA will be the most popular sport. Hell, that's what I'm hoping for. The fucking Cause no. I oh exactly come on, now. That I mean, we is have not. We, we have this debate all the time, especially between college and NFL. Yo, we that's we're not even gonna get into that because <laughs> we'll go we'll go to eight thirty tonight. It's, it's about pretty far fetched. I mean, no, I'm a, I'm more of a basketball fan than football, but football is America's. The only the football is America's sport. America's in, in, sport. in America. True indeed, but basketball is an international sport, bro. bro. And more people play basketball. <sighs> then they do play football. Rico is just disappointed he's, he, right I mean, now. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's not even. Where is Pat when we need him, man? Like it's not <laughs> even close, bro. Like football is so, it, like let, it's let, not let even the close. Let them one more strike. Let them let them keep fucking they, up. They haven't shit, had man. a strike. I mean, I mean no, 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 no. keep making these. Bogus I'm, talking about, rules. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about with 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 the with the with the lockout. Okay, it's good till 2018. Then next thing you had the referees. They missed three games. Now all of a sudden, cats can't tackle. Okay, well, like that's, a can't do nothing. that's a whole other issue. That's a whole other issue. Can't you know do I mean? nothing. So, like, the, the game of football is not even the game of football that people grew up watching. I don't think that matters. Really? Honest to God, I don't think it matters. I don't know. We'll see. I, Ratings are as high as they've ever been. Stadiums are packed every week. I don't think it matters. I mean, because you get, what, maybe three or four plays a game in which a guy, you know, he, he five years ago was a legal tackle, now it's not. I mean, three or four plays a game, bro. Like, no, it, it doesn't matter. I, I really don't. I think it's bullshit. I saw a call last night in the Ravens Browns game. Somebody lays a, a solid hit on a guy that catches a pass over the middle. I think it was Pitta for uh, for the Ravens caught a pass over the middle. He got a solid lick put on him across the middle. And they threw a flag. And five years ago, that is a completely legal tackle. But you know what? That is not gonna make any fans leave the game. I mean, I agree with that. Like, this, you got. I mean, I'm sure y'all realize how hardcore football fans are. Yeah, ain't it's going nuts. nowhere. It's nuts because. Yeah, ain't going yeah I mean, nuts. I mean, the pandemonium is always going to be there with football, but I think the NBA is, is, is slowly making their presence because just I'm, how just how you got the Thanksgiving game, and by five more years, the NBA Christmas game is going to be huge. Well, it's they got like big. six of them now, though. <laughs> on I'm, Christmas Day, they I mean, seriously the, they have like six games. But bro. Did you only show two. Like I no, mean, you bro, have they show you have three. Well, you, you have three games on uh, on, on uh, Thanksgiving, and you have one on NFL Network that yeah. nobody watches. Cause that I watch only, the shit. Who, <laughs> everybody don't have NFL Network. That's true. <laughs> shit. Everybody don't have a, have NFL Network. And they play the other. I know what you're saying. On on Christmas Day, they play them on NBA TV. Yeah. But. So you know what I mean, shoot. I tell you what, man. Like, I, I got. Sh- I'm gonna sh- do a quick shout out. Like, uh, you know, off topic a little bit. I'm gonna do a quick shout out to people in the chat room. They just acting a fool right now. This dude Randall <laughs> telling. This dude Randall's telling you to spark it up right now. <laughs> it's a black dude. It's a black. I don't. I don't smoke ganja, man. It's just a black. <laughs> but like I say, if uh, if that's what you do, you can always contribute. We do test out here at the station. To make sure she's <laughs> yeah, good, you know I, I mean? just yeah. I just observe. I just like. <laughs> so if you think you got some good, just send it this way, and we'll yeah. make sure, we'll let you but, know after. Rollo so, Rollo will be your guinea pig. <laughs> but back to the singles thing, man. Do you feel like those people? Like I know you said something about cash out, but do you feel like the rest of these dudes actually is like sell out crowds? Hell no. Cash out ain't selling out no crowd without nobody else. Like, was it just when you said you didn't you didn't, wasn't it you Rico that said something about cash out having a lot of people? Uh, no, I don't know about a lot. Of, I've never seen a show before, but I know for a fact that he at one point this summer was getting five figures for uh, a concert performance. Really? Yeah. Do you think it'll be the same next year? 
I mean, I hope not. Cause I, 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 I don't hope not. I really, I, I, I hope feel he like prospers and grows with I the feel, music industry. I mean, I, I never wish, I never wish foul, yes. foulness on yeah, that's any crazy. artist. Well, there's some artists. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna say their names. But there's some artists. I'm like, just please quit rapping. But I mean, for the most part, if you got, if you in, if you doing your thing, I applaud you because I'm trying to do my thing too. So hey, I ain't gonna. True, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you can't hate a man for doing what he's doing. Yeah, and if, no some, and if somebody, right. one thing I always say though, man, somebody out there is listening to that. I don't give a fuck. Obviously. You may not like it, but somebody is listening to it. And if you dislike it, I'm going to tell you right now. If this you don't is, like it, turn turn the shit off and put on something else. You got all this other right. You, you want to know how that stuff gets so popular? Because uh, one, of, one of my old mentors, uh... He's like, uh, if you hate, like, when you hate something so much, you tell this person, you tell uh-huh. this person, and you tell this person that how much you hate it. And they're going to watch it and tell somebody else what they think about it. That's how it spreads. Because I remember um, I came, I went to my mentor's house, and I was like, remember that Rebecca Black Friday yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that song. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what happened was I went to his house. I'm like, yo, I'm going to show you the worst thing you ever heard in your life, right? And then as he was watching it, he was like, he was like, you know what? I see something y'all don't see. Y'all see this horrible, this horrible song. I see us sitting around watching it. And how many other people besides me have you told how bad this song was? I said like ten, exactly. Yeah, but the thing is, is it wasn't meant to be horrible. It was actually it was meant, meant to be, be a good. real like, song. <laughs> so uh, so what actually, you saying? So, so motherfuckers start to be sorry as shit. Nah, you know, <laughs> people hey, have been doing that, that for years. Base God, base God. <laughs> people have been doing that for That's years. True. Look, no, I'm gonna tell you right now. He has a huge yo, fan base. Yeah, oh, true. And you know, I heard Lil B is trying out for the Golden State Warriors. Shout out to love, motherfucking Lil B. I hope he makes the team. I hope he does Master too. Master P made the team and played in the preseason. He ain't make game. that motherfucking team. Why can't Lil B do it? <laughs> is he like? Is that like a serious like thing? What? I heard it was. Nah, I don't. I, he tweeted that shit today. I don't think he's gonna do it though. You can't listen to anything. He you can't take any tweet from him seriously. Master, like I said, Master P. Master P. Play for the How do you feel? Hey, Master P is an overall just fucking the man. He played for the it was the Hornets, the, right? The, yeah, Hornets. the Hornets played for the Hornets, and then a couple years later was a fucking NFL agent. Yeah, remember he negotiated Ricky Williams' Yo, rookie that contract, was the worst bro. contract. Yeah, it was the worst <laughs> contract ever. <laughs> but he did it. I mean, <laughs> my man had a whole contract based off incentives. Incentives. If you carry the ball and get one yard, you get a hundred dollars. Like that was his contract was based purely off incentives. Solo, I want you to tell me why Lil B is amazing. No, I've been not. trying to figure this out for years. Bro, if you get hurt, uh, but like I don't understand. Like I could, cause I, I feel like Lil B, what Lil B is to most people is what Two Chains is to me. I just listen to him because he makes me laugh. He makes me laugh. Does he legit? That, that's Pretty why he listen to him. I yes. listen to Two Chains because he makes me laugh. Dog. Might, that's yeah. probably what I mean because I Tell I me. literally you can go look at my iPod. I don't have any fucking Lil B records yo, on there. Yo, but. Lil B is black and said hoses on my dick because I look like John Stockton. He did, nah. I was just on my dick because I look like Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, man. I was just about to say he got <laughs> like ten songs saying he looked like somebody else. He said hoes on my dick. Cause Ellen I'm just like DeGeneres. Jesus. Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yeah. Ellen hey, have y'all ever seen him? Have y'all ever <laughs> seen him live? Songs I, no, no. Bro, I, I saw him in Kansas City last year, Section Eight concert. It was him. Matt, th- this was a great concert. It was him, Mac Miller, Big Crit, uh, Dom Kennedy, Ooh, Machine Gun Kelly, and uh, and Kid Ink. And, the, and it was like, that. and this is t- summer of 2011, so they were all like budding stars. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. It was a great concert, but Lil B, K- Kansas City didn't know how to react to him. They did. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. Really? They I had bet. no idea, bro. They were. They they just sat there. There was like four thousand people at the show. They're all just like, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. My boy, nuts. shout out to my boy Josh Slate if he's listening. Like this, this dude has like some of the biggest, like some of the most knowledge on hip hop I've ever seen a person have. But we got like an hour long, like screaming argument, me, him, and one of his friends, on how he thinks Little B is actually like really good. Like we got in like a screaming argument. Like that's my boy, me, and him, and his friend got into like a screaming argument. Like they came off as straight idiots to me. They showed me the freestyle cipher, like the 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 XL freshman freestyle cipher with him and everybody else. Yeah, it was like he said he had the best freestyle out of everybody. Shit. I didn't even listen to it to be honest, man. I heard it. That shit's horrible. I just know that swag in Ohio gets me turned up. <laughs> so oh, I don't know. We gonna 
We're going to get back to that in a minute, but we're going to get back to the music for a little bit, and we're going to hit y'all back up for a little bit. This is J. Will, Rico Slice, and Rollo on Live from the Underground. A lot of shit on my mind, lost of thought all the time, working hard. Trying to shine, you dreaming too, nigga get in line I always had a bigger vision, always spoke, nobody listened Now I feel like I'm on top of the world, better watch your mouth for my fucking girl I'm focused like Adderall, climbing up, trying not to fall What if I do, I spring back, forever fly with my team mad I'm tired of these niggas, and I'm tired of these bitches I'm working on this money, and plotting on these riches I lost a couple homies, trying to make it to that life Couldn't see what I write, so they got left before the flight, you gotta grow up and progress. Pull your own weight like a bow flex. Ain't no telling them where I'm about to go next. A lot of these niggas on the ground trying to get signed, thinking that the label gonna help them shine. They wanna contact and miss them down. My intelligence off of their presidents, but I will not stop from the mission at hand. The world will be over before these niggas understand. When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger. I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner. When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger. I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner. What's up? When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger. I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner. When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger. I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner. What's up? Fuck some, I want it all. Fuck stress, the nigga blessed. Look into the future, Nike couldn't see this many checks. I thought I'd never be here. Well, I mean I did, but as soon as I got serious, everything happened quick. So I studied the game, and in my retrospect, nigga skills deteriorated, so I'm at y'all neck. I'm about to run this shit, you can't tell me shit I'm about to get the gab, the last laugh for the haters of my past I was just a young kid with some dreams and some goals Now I'm grown, living out them same goals, rocking shows I projected an image of a niggas ain't get it Now my lyrics are vivid, whole power in any sentence I'm a rapper, mentition, hip-hop is my nutrition Enlightening on the mic, my friend rap electricity Precision is on point when I will these emotions, it's like a joint Takes me higher every time you hate you Fuel into my fire, uh When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner What's up? When I was young, I used to dream of being bigger I knew how we get it as a motherfucking winner when I was young, I used to dream of being bigger. I knew I would get it as a motherfucking winner. What's up?
looking so awesome. Looking like a million bucks, translation flossing. Oh, look, stop. Pose for the frame. Everybody know me, I'm a household name. Moolah, money in the building. Reason why most of these hoes just wanna have my children, I'm like, move, bitch. You ain't worth nothing. It might sound cocky, but I'm all about money. Yeah, though. Nigga, what you saying, though? Have my dudes on you. Hey, hey Ben Hamble out. being here next week, by next the way. Next week, by the, yeah, straight up. Next week he'll be on the air, so make sure y'all tune in for that. Um, but uh, it's I just wanted to get back on, basically shout out everybody that's been supporting the show, everybody that's in the chat rooms, you know what I mean? Everybody around the city that's been buzzing about it, you know, hitting me up, hitting Rico up, hitting Rollo up, hitting my team up, ETC, you know, NASA Gang of Fly Times or whatever about the show. You know, I want to say I appreciate everybody, you know, paying attention and spreading the word. Um I mean, some of y'all are even talking about we need to have the show on two times a week, man. And I appreciate all that love from the bottom oh, of my man. heart. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep this going as much as we can. We need to make this Dallas's the Dallas radio station. And I feel yeah. like we can as long as y'all support us. A couple bucks here and there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, y'all got to realize it costs money to throw these we shows. Do. So if y'all we kicking in, donations. if y'all kicking in, we can definitely do two shows a week. <laughs> But um, is there any shout outs y'all want to give to anybody before we get up off here, man? Man, uh, shout out to you know what I mean everybody, man. Shout out to Dallas, Texas. Shout out to Deep Ellum, you know what I mean Deep Ellum on uh, online radio. Shit, shout out to Boston. Shout out to BC. We gonna beat the shit out of Clemson tomorrow. Hell no, Clemson's gonna roll, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Shout out to Megazaw, Big Bro, ADD, Brain Gang. Yeah, you know I mean everybody in Dallas trying to make some shit happen. Shout out to everybody, man. You know what I mean? Kill it. Been bumping laptops and voicemails all week to this week. So, uh. Yeah, if, if you're doing something in Dallas right now, shout out to you. Pat yourself on the back. Keep working. Hit us up, man. Like, I mean, we, I mean, we, we, we love to have people on the show to talk. See what's picking, picking your brain. See what's going on with you. Shout out to all you anonymous motherfuckers in the, in the chat, chat room. room. <laughs> yeah, say Put a fucking, fucking name. name. Yeah, How about true. that? <laughs> you sons of bitches. Yeah. Put a fucking name next yeah, time. I'm going to just tell you like Say this. Say something, God damn it. I'm going to just tell you like this. Uh, it's going down every week, every Friday, 6 to 7.30. So make sure y'all tune in every week. Spread, spread the word. Help get it out there. And we'll see y'all next week, man. We're going to leave y'all with some more music. And then we're going to be up out of here. J. Will, Rico, Rallo, we out. Next yeah. week, be him. Be Whoop. him, y'all. Spread the word. Black wizards, crack switches, science is the history Cold, love, menace to the industry Black wizards, black magic, struggle out of misery Yo, Craig, what up, G? Bullies be broad, but better just bitching and bickering So sickening, isn't it? Hey, yo, Mike, what up, fam? These leeches blood sucking thirstily Gurgling rabies, serving these babies, no tip for tea Feeling cliche when we say we caught up in the system But analyze my history, should have been a statistic Should have been dead gone, rotting inside a prison Should have, would have, could have, then why would I doubt this shit? I was always crazy, you fuckers just make the spins worse Cause when my world is spinning, at least I got in my lean first Dedicated to dumb dealers, high on they own supply Balloon eating scumbags, you got no feelings Mike is on that shit again Better sell him twice and up the milligrams to kill a man Peeling paint off ceiling fans Adivant and Adderall, couldn't bring the feeling back Xanax bars and alcohol, the weed is all that's healing that Disassociated, antisocial socialist, ex-teenage mutant reform Kleptomania, fever for subculture products and subversive screens. American privilege versus mid class megalomania. Bro, bro, full level wizardry. Black wizards, crack switches, science is the history. Cold, love, menace to the industry. Black wizards, black magic, struggle out of misery. Black magic.
magic wizardry. Uh. The bid is zero, leave you with the bleeding illos. These lolly suckers soft as pillows, my team is rough as brillos. Puffin' cigarellos, eating vettos in the reno. My elbow hit his chin, I'm claiming it was accidental. You claim to pack the pencil, I'm packing straps, big as a rack, that's galactic issue. That's official, is it science? They defy yet when they act the true. If that's offensive, then I'm sacrilegious, have some tissue. These baby butt breasts, acting like they know too much. The daily unrest, leaving those that's local, immobile. We need to mobilize and take control. Roll of the global. They say I'm going postal, I'm boastful and finna ghost you. Goon in effect with a bruise in his neck, no student in the game. Move with a crook who got a crane, but the cane that you cook a coup to the king. I coup to the brain, no kings, no rules, no jewels, no chains. I'm true to the vein, so they tell me, Mikey, you know you got this. Kicks they dirty, shirt full of bloody little blotches. You slutty little batches, sucking for small percentage profit. Anxious, ain't this, aimless. And when I shoot, aim back, atomic range, microscopic. Ain't a thing to me, I'ma change the frame, or I'ma Break the obelisk, carving my fucking lane. Banking on that, banging on wax, swinging my axe. So when the shoddy blast off to the cleaver, is stuck awkward. You can bet your hanging ass. Yeah, double down. Trouble sound like who really wants them? Grade them on a sliding scale. Parmesan, cheesy rappers, vegetarian carrots. One temple runs till their heart is gone. And art is gone.